Okay, so I would like to talk a little bit about the grip in pickleball. It's really important that you are in a successful grip and the court is small, things happen fast, and if you're constantly trying to change your grip or are holding the wrong grip, it can cause a lot of problems. Uh, a lot of people have different grips, and that's because part of the beauty of the sport is people can play it. They come from all different backgrounds. Not everybody was a tennis player. So sometimes people just pick up the paddle. However they picked it up the first time, they're holding it. Could be right, could be wrong. But if it's wrong, and you work on that too long, it's very hard to change that habit. So in pickleball, you can actually get away with one grip. You don't need a service grip, a volley grip, a back end grip, a forehand grip. You can use one grip, and that is the continental grip. And the way you know if you're in that grip is you would take the paddle and just slide your hand down the side and grab it and then shake hands with that paddle. And it's like you're hammering a nail or shaking hands. That's the continental grip. This is gonna be the easiest grip to hit all the shots you wanna hit. Now you probably are gonna say, but I see people playing with other grips and they play just fine. That's true to an extent. There are maybe three top level pickleball players out there, pros who use a very unorthodox grip. They didn't come to pickleball from a tennis background. They're very athletic and they're able to be successful with it. But a lot of people that have the wrong grip are just gonna have problems. The biggest one I see is that very strong Eastern grip. And that is when your hand is over here and it's very strong backhand. These are people that are gonna have really good backhand volleys, but that's gonna be a real problem for them once people figure out they can't hit a forehand volley. Cause to try to take this grip and go over here and hit a forehand is very difficult. And they tend to stand like this and just wanna punch things like this. Another problem it creates is this windshield wiper volley where they're trying to go like this. So if you are in that strong backhand grip, I would encourage you to try to get it over a little bit. And what I tell patients a lot when I notice that they are, they're in their drill and they're naturally starting to go back over, I'm like, shake hands with your paddle. You've got to shake hands with your paddle. So if you get that grip and you're solid, it's easy to go forehand, it's easy to go backhand, and you're gonna have a lot more success. Another grip that you might have seen if you're watching a lot of pickleball online these days is a Western grip. And that is when your hand is a little further over on the paddle here. And while some of the young athletic pros can get away with this grip, most people cannot. This is a grip for somebody who has an extensive tennis background. So that's what you're seeing with these young players that are coming in. And even some of the senior pros, we're getting in new players all the time who have extensive tennis backgrounds, but most of them are more conventional, were more traditional conventional tennis players like my era, and we didn't use that big Western grip. So that's a very hard grip to control because your paddle face is coming in like this and it's very easy to just hit the ball into the net. So I don't encourage anybody who's beginning pickleball or really trying to get better at pickleball and more consistent to try that grip either.